Hey everybody, welcome back to Dungeon Mega here on the World of Madness server. Now I said we wouldn't be here the last episode, didn't I? I said we'd be back over at the tomb doing a bunch of work, but... Slight problem, um, which is basically this is all the iron I have. Basically. So, in fact, that's almost all the wood I have right now over here as well. I have a bit more back over there, but that's mildly irrelevant compared to the amount of wood, well, c compared to like, the amount of iron and other materials that I don't have. Because I've lost all of it, basically. I have lost it several times over building this place, and mostly from dying over and over and over again, um, or just being straight broken by the sheer magnitude of this project, and consequently, I don't actually have the resources to continue building the tomb right now at any specific pace. Now, there is a village over there that I've been getting sand from, that I could theoretically turn into some kind of iron farm, but I thought I would kind of talk about uh, rewards and whatnot. Whilst I go and do a bit of digging, <laughs> because I kind of need to do that. So, here goes. So, the main problem here, the, the, the thing that is at the core of this issue, is simply that the reward for building this whole structure, in fact, the reward in general for conquering the entirety of an ocean monument, is extremely small. Like, think about it. If you come into an ocean monument and take out the take out the guardians, or well, take out the elder guardians and whatnot, then your reward is about thirty blocks of sponge, thirty thirty two ish. If you go through the trouble of making sure the place is dry and safe and whatnot, as I did, then you get a whole bunch of these prismarine blocks. And if you do what I did still, and you turn the whole thing into a grinder you get an unlimited supply of prismarine blocks. But the problem is that your reward for going through this whole effort, like your reward at every single stage, more or less, is about 30 utility blocks, and then everything else is decorative. Everything else. There is no meaningful advantage, gameplay-wise, beyond the decorations to do this at all. Which kind of makes Ocean Monuments pretty sucky. Like, why, why, why um, ultimately, really, why bother? Why would you go through all this effort to do this whole thing just for some decorative blocks? A question I probably should have asked myself quite a while ago. Uh, <laughs> do I have any, like, partial stacks? No, I don't really. Um, so, what would be a better way to handle this? That's our next question now. What would be... A suitable reward for taking down the Guardians. Well, the Guardians have a unique attack. The Guardians have this laser beam, basically, that uh, can't be broken, can't be, like, blocked. It's only really deterred by there being no line of sight. So, what if you could actually get that? What if that was your reward? Or something... Something on the lower end scale of it, maybe. And, uh, oh yes, I have done a little bit of work on the grinding section, so down here, we can watch them all go in here, they fall through here, take a whole ton of lava damage. They have a few seconds, and then they just die. They don't actually have enough time to complete a laser. If I stand right here, wait for one to drop down, right here, he doesn't actually have enough time alive to laser me. So whilst this isn't like an immediate kill, it's kind of pretty good. I am working on getting hoppers in here, so they can't target me, period, but for the moment, it's doing pretty well. So anyways, we're going down here today. It's down here. There's a small cave system that I've been using for mining. Okay, right. So yeah, what if you got some kind of some kind of crystal? Crystals like seem like an obvious thing for the uh, the prismarine and whatnot. So what if you got some kind of crystal? And oh, there's one of my 
dead things from coming down here last time, because this cave is a nightmare. But hey, you'll get to watch me scream. Um, well done, bat, well done. Whoops. See what I mean? I'm down here two seconds, I've already been creeping. Yeah. I don't have a bow to deal with you. Come on then. Let's deal with this the old fashioned way. Mostly with, mostly by the assistance of fall damage. There we go. Right. Light this place up because that is gonna be a nightmare. Whoop! Oh yeah, we're at gold level, apparently. Yeah, creepers, skeletons, armored zombies. I have definitely spent enough time around here to severely amp up the local difficulty. Which is another thing I could scream about. I'm having tons of trouble with that in spring realms. At least the farm is providing me, or rather the grinder, I should say, is providing me with a lot of uh, a lot of fish for food. Doesn't provide me even with stuff like the materials to smelt it. But it is at least providing me with food, so I don't have to go, like, fishing or whatnot. It's even providing me with the odd bit of ink. I'm not exactly sure how squid are surviving the initial drop through the lava long enough to actually drop anything, but... I'm not gonna complain too much about surplus <laughs> about surplus loot, especially when it's also a, com a combined uh, crafting ingredient for Dark Prismarine, which is the whole thing I started this whole project for. <sighs> Still, anyways, what would be, like... The reward. Well, we got, we got our idea of a crystal, so I'm getting sidetracked. Apologies for that. It's not exactly unusual for me to ramble on and get sidetracked, but either way. Um, so we've got the crystal. We'll say it's fairly low durability, or if it comes from the Elder Guardians, there's only three Elder Guardians, like, per ocean monument. There's only three ocean monuments per world, so that would mean if it dropped from the Elder Guardians, you'd only get a grand total of nine of them. Go away. Go away. Ow. Gotcha. Ha. I'm running through a I'm running through a dungeon tier like cave right now. With no armor and iron weapons. This is um testament to my ability, I'd say. Come on. You know, I wish I could stunlock you. Whoop. Okay, need to retreat, fall back, eat some food. Right. So, it either has relatively good durability, or you could say it's like relatively low so that it's even more impressive that you've done it because it's basically a resource investment that you're gonna have to do it again and again. Or you could say that they don't break at all, which would be nice. Maybe you can just say that they're, they're a crafting ingredient for something that doesn't break. Okay. Missed that swing slightly. I need to remember the lights I see from dropped items are also not actual light. They don't prevent spawns and they don't do anything to actually uh, stop cre creepers from spawning. Speaking of which... That down there is one of my my dead things, by the way. Is the creeper provide some light? Oh, you're being tricksy and walking to the side when I'm trying to hit you, aren't you? Oh boy, pull back. Eat some fish. He's not following me. That's good. All right. I would say it could mimic the uh, make, like maybe you could make some kind of staff. There's an idea. You make some kind of staff and it shoots out a laser. Uh, maybe it uses XP for power, but that's introducing a whole other mechanic. When you're making a new item, it's usually a good idea to reuse the mechanics you already have as much as possible, rather than to introduce new ones, because it means that there's this whole other thing that you have to, like, explain, basically, to the player. Phew. Glad I made a stack of fish. I can hear another skeleton somewhere. Somewhere around here. 
some more iron there. Oh, and more creepers. Yay. I'm not sure if it's because I'm in the ocean or because uh, I've amped up the local difficulty so much by building the grinder. There's a lot of mobs around here for some reason. The sound of that skeleton worries me. There we go. That one there. Might need one over here though. Still another creeper. Hey there, birdie. Wanna come play with me? Come on. It's always good to fight them on stairs because they can't turn away from you. Alright, come on. There we go. Well, I'll never go hungry again, that's for sure. There. Noted. Whoop. Barely saw you. Then again, I am playing on Nubby. Which I've had, like, people complain about. <laughs> well, not, not so much complain as comment, I guess, would be just the phrase. Like, I've had people say that, uh, I, o I always overestimate how dark, like, well, overestimate how dark things are because everybody else plays on Bright. <laughs> But hey, what can I say? I like a bit of challenge. <laughs> right. More right up here. We're up to we up to almost half a stack. Thankfully, this area is relatively resource rich. Chewing substantial parts, by the way, really ever came down here whilst I was building the grinder. Down here, so I I can. Because what's the point of pain in a video game if you can't get to it? <laughs> That's just a lovely, lovely hug pile right down there. <laughs> okay then. Let's just. Uh... Oh, somebody's holding a slime ball. Oh right, yes, I completely forgot. Parts of the grinder are actually in slime chunks. So that might be something I investigate later. Not all of likely, but it's an idea. Okay, can I block off this water? The redstone, but alas, I have not the pick with which to grab it. just leave that area to like even well they actually no they won't despawn I think because at least one of them's holding an item. So it's entirely probable that they are persistent. Evans, you took a torch. My god, what shall I do without that torch? Oh you also mined some redstone for me, thank you! Now that's a nice reward. <sighs> so yeah you want an item which is justify, like, so an item which reasonably justifies all of the efforts that goes into defeating some kind of obstacle, in this case the Ocean Monument. Ideally you want it to be thematically linked, or at least linked in the lore, and you want it to introduce as few new mechanics as possible, but you still want it to have an impact upon the actual game. So just straight up giving someone a better sword, for example, is... It reuses a mechanic, but it's kind of dumb. Like, a new sword isn't very interesting. Are you... They're wearing my armor! Huh. What do you know? You guys are wearing armor. That's why you're not, like, despawning. It's because you've got my loot on you. Great, I'm having to wail my own loot off of these guys. I hope they left a mine ingot, that's something. 
I bet he's carrying my sword. <laughs> yep, yes he was. What do you know? I got half me I got half me armors back. Oh, and you picked up this chest plate. Hey. Thieving zombies. Please. I know, hey, there's some more iron. Which is good for that with torches, actually. Ah. So yeah, we'd have, like, some kind of... Even, we'd be even looking at some kind of uh, staff weapon that replicates the way the uh, the Guardians attack you, which means you have to put up with a whole bunch of being attacked by lasers to get the ability to use lasers of your own, or we'd be looking at something that ultimately makes the whole thing easier to do in the first place. Because that's another thing that tends to happen with dungeon loots, it's just... Um, you have done this difficult thing, so here is the here is a thing that makes the difficult thing more easy. Or easier to overcome, at the very least. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm having to think of, like, how to... I'm having to think of, uh, various, like, boss and, uh, dungeon drops for Spring Realms right now, so, yeah. Who knows, maybe I'll do a crossover episode at some stage. <laughs> That's just a dungeon line that goes over to Spring Realms. Am I breaking the fourth wall here slightly? Okay. So, we got 38 iron. I could have, gra I could have done with grabbing more coal, but that was a nice little explorer. And that gets me... What, about 12 pickaxes? 12 iron pickaxes? Oh, no, no. Actually, a bit more than that. 13, because I got this one ingot. Hooray! And some enchantment, too. Some slime. Hooray. And also most of my armor. Hooray! <laughs> oh, that was a that was un, an unusually successful trip. Honestly, I thought all of this had like despawned by now. Mm. Huh. Not going to complain. Anyways, that has been it for now. Hopefully we'll have more progress to show off next time. I don't personally like doing mining episodes too frequently because it is literally the thing that you see on every single video. And my motto is always, no, he's always never do the same thing twice. So, at the very least if we have another one of these, and we hopefully won't, then I'll do it in a different way somehow. I'll add my own twist to it, which is the greater understanding of my rule there. But, anyways, hope you've enjoyed, I'll catch you all next time.